Hello viewers, how are you? Today we are going to discuss how to create a table using Tom. I mean how to insert the rows in the table dynamically. Uh, we will have the basic skeleton of the table, but the table will be filled using JavaScript and the JavaScript object Tom. So let's first create a basic skeleton of the table. <coughs> that is, I open the table tag and I close the table tag. And I also insert the heading row on the table. Uh, tr open and close tr stand for table row and in table row uh, let's create a table for a shopping cart and uh, we add four cells in the table the first cell is about the product id it is a product id <clears throat> and the second cell will maybe order description And the four, third cell may be about the quantity. And the fourth cell may be about the order date, the day on which the product what was ordered. <clears throat> so here we have the basic skeleton of a table. Let's see uh, the table. So here we have the uh, first row that is the hand of the table and there is no border in it. So let's create a simple border just to distinguish the cells in the table. I added the attribute of, attribute of border and kept it one. So now you can see different cells in the table. So here I add a heading about the table I say it is my shopping cart and here you go so now the next point is we will add to this table by clicking on a button and so let's create a button here input type is equal to button and we, the value of the button that will be shown on the button as a text I write add to cart and next I add an attribute of the input tag that is on click so when we will click the button a function will be called a JavaScript function I name the function as my function so that's it let us see so here we have a button and the our goal is when I click on this button a new row will be added in this table dynamically or on the fly using JavaScript so now when I click on the button the button tries to call the function my function but the function is not defined yet so we get a JavaScript error to see that JavaScript error you can click on the inspect and click on the console so when I click here you see my function is not defined so let's define my function at the JavaScript so to add you can add JavaScript at, at any point on the page but it is a convention that we usually add JavaScript in the head tag so I add skip tag open and I close the skip tag so our JavaScript will written between these these skip tag. So here I write function as a keyword, and next I write the name of the function. That's my function. So in this function, what we will do? We will actually insert a row dynamically into this table. So first of all, we need to access this table inside this JavaScript so to access any JavaScript uh, web page element you can use DOM object and by using uh, the unique ID of the element this table element doesn't have any unique ID so let's define an ID for it so I say its ID is my table so please note that this ID should be unique it should not be used by any other element on the web page so here 
I access this table I define an object TBL a variable you can give any name to this variable I just named it TBL so here I get the table document dot get e capital element b capital by i capital by id so here we will write the id that we gave to this table that is my table so now this variable has this html element this is actually this object is this html table so we can confirm it by using alert i it here so let's see what we get and as alert where the object is HTML table element so we have accessed this table in the JavaScript so next we have to add the rows you can define other variable and you can name it as row so tbl dot insert row will create a row and insert in this table and next you have to define the cell in each row so here in this case we have four cells cell one row dot insert cell will create a cell and that cell will be added into this row so we create four cells I copy and paste the line of code this is cell one uh, cell two cell three cell 4 and now we have to add the content into these cells and you know to add the content you have the attribute of inner HTML for any HTML tag so we use that attribute to add the content to these cells so cell 1 dot inner HTML and the content may be the ID so it's say it is the product ID is as 3 to 1 and next is the product description that may be you can say a baby toy car and the next may be the uh, quantity let's say it is two and next is the order date so you can say it is 2018 or 19 0209 so these are just uh, course values that we added here so cell 1 it is cell 2 it is cell 3 it is cell 4 so we save the code and refresh the web page and see what it shows I click add to cart so this row is added so I keep on clicking it and the same hard coded value will be added so the next thing is we should have uh, something like a web form where we can add different values and when we, we will submit that form clicking on this button this table will be should be filled so to do that you have to watch my next video thanks all thanks